blame is me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. Come and rescue me, take me out the club, take me out the trap, take me out the water, take me out the mat. later um it is 5 8 p.m um i think the last time i talked to you guys was honestly probably last night i think i've said much of everything so far but this morning it's wednesday october 3rd um i had the internet people come in at eight this morning he probably got here maybe about 8.30, 8.40. Um, they went ahead and set up my internet. Today's been like a super rainy day, but internet is jumping. Um, so far, as you have seen or should have seen, if not, I'll put it in here somewhere close. Um, I went ahead and set up my bed. 
Um, after the Xfinity guy left, I went ahead and set up some stuff in my closet. I'll do a quick like show you what I've done so far. And I went ahead and like locked in my couches. I know you like locked in. My couches on the bottom have these little brackets. Like one side is a bracket and the other side is like a piece that goes into the bracket and it kind of locks the couch in place so that way they don't separate because each piece is individual so i went ahead and locked each piece in um i think this bracket is broken though so this is a little bit of gap on the front part of it but it's whatever but yeah i went ahead and did that i took my pillows out of um the bags that they were in i haven't done anything in the kitchen um the only thing i've done so far after the internet guy left was um i went ahead and unpacked some stuff in my closet to kind of free up some space and i went ahead and met up with the lady i, I sold my desk from my office on facebook marketplace so i went ahead and met up with her um, at walmart to do the exchange and then i came back home i wanted to go to the store but i was like no you need to make a list so that you're not forgetting anything and anything like that so i haven't gone grocery shopping i haven't gone like household shopping i haven't done anything like that because today has been such a rainy day like it's brightening up now the sun is starting to come out like the clouds are starting to go away i can actually see this downtown the cityscape again because at first i couldn't see nothing but fog um but yeah so that stuff is like so i didn't i didn't feel like leaving the house after i sold the desk because it was like it's a rainy day i want to go home so I did. I came back home. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's all I did pretty much. I set up my bed. I'm washing my um, sheets and my mattress protector. Um, I tried to watch the cover of my mattress, but there's a tag on it that says this mattress cover is not washable. I said, well, it's a good thing I read this before I just threw old girl in the washing machine. <laughs> um, but yeah that's all i did i'm about to show you what i've done in my closet I've, i had three like you know the three suitcase sets um i had one filled with shoes the other one was filled with like purses and handbags and the other third one's filled with like miscellaneous stuff like my makeup and some stuff like that so my room looks crazy right now but i'm gonna do like a quick overview of it um i'm gonna try to straighten it up real quick and then do like a quick overview but I am, I do want to show you my closet. My closet is not finished, it's still a work in progress, but I did get to set up some of my shoes, like the shoes that I wear often or like gravitate towards to like a lot of my other shoes, like my heels and stuff like that, that I don't wear. I still have them in the tote in my closet, but it is what it is. But I did set up some of my purses and stuff. It looks okay in there so far. I was nervous about space because I'm going from having like a double door, sliding glass door closet to like a walk-in closet and I also had stuff in my office closet if you remember like I had my coats and like some dresses and things in there jackets and stuff like that but um so far I'm doing good at fitting everything in there and I still have room like it's not it doesn't seem crazy crowded to me I do have like to put my jeans and stuff in the closet and I feel like the shelves on the side, I'm gonna show you, I feel like it should have been a little bit taller that way you can see what's on the shelf, but I think I'm gonna just put my jeans on the top shelf and I'm just gonna have to go up there, super high to get some jeans. I also cleared out a little space down low so I can put like a good stack of jeans right there, or maybe I'll pull the clothes forward and put it in the corner so it's not like, you know, we'll see. But yeah, I'll show you what I have working so far um, before we end this video. So. All right, let's see if we can do this while we're on the tripod. But here's what my room looks like right now. It's looking crazy. Um, I have some shoes that I need to put away, like my boots, my rain boots, and my Uggs. And then I have some shoes in a bag that I'm going to give away. And then that's like the bedding and two bags of clothes that I need to put away. But here's my makeup that I need to put up into the bathroom. But when the Xfinity guy came, he had to go in my closet. So I had to clean out my closet. And I lost the pathway to the bathroom because of that. But I'm getting it back. I got three boxes left. 
<laughs> but um so far i think i've packed two whole boxes for my closet and then three suitcases but this is what i have in my closet so far like i put some of my bigger purses up top and then some of my smaller like little handbags on the second shelf then i did like my heels and then these furry furry sandals and then i have like sneakers um, I have another pair of sneakers to put there. I gotta find whichever box they're in. And then I have like Crocs. Um, and then my boots and then my Ugg boots are probably gonna go right there. My rain boots are either gonna go down at the very bottom or by the front door because I do have cubbies up there as well. And then the rest of my heels or my shoes are in this like tub. So this is what I'm saying, like it's super high up there. Like I can't just like genuinely reach it on my own. So I have to keep my ladder in here, my step stool but i was thinking about just loading some jeans right here but i'm thinking that's gonna look kind of like what so i'm thinking about like pulling all of this back all of these clothes back this way and then putting the jeans in the corner there and i think that'll be good um but pretty much these are all my hanging clothes i don't think i have anything else to hang up i feel like i'm missing i have to have some more clothes somewhere because I'm missing a lot, like half of my black clothes. Like, it, there's no way I have this much. I have probably about this much black clothes that should be down here. So I have to figure out where those are. They aren't in my car. So and they're not in that front closet. So they're in, they gotta be somewhere. Is this? Because these are all my dresses. Yeah, these are all my dresses. Yeah, so I'm missing like two or three trash bags of black clothes. Two to three. I need to find those ASAP. Which is concerning because I just have that box, which is bathroom, in this box which should also be bathroom in this miscellaneous box that does not have it. Let me go look up front real quick.
pray I did not just break my TV. <sighs> I would cry real tears. <sighs> I tried to slide it on. It's okay. I got something that can fix that. But right now, Lord, please. Moment of, moment of truth. I put it real high. Moment of truth. God is good. God is good. No. Let me tell you how good God is because I hung my TV on the tops of the nails, not in the actual bracket that it's supposed to be in. And it sat like this for two days before I noticed. Okay, let me get my Mr. Clay Magic Eraser. I promise you, I did not struggle this much when I mounted the TV in my last place. Ooh, okay. I might have scraped, I think I scraped this too hard beyond magic erasing repair. Yeah. Did I? God got it. Come on, Lord. Cause we was rubbing up against this wall, child. Let's get all far. Measurement marks. Okay. Oh, it's a bit higher than what I had did. But it's about the right okay. Ooh, this is paint. Oh God. I don't know why I struggled as hard as I did today. Last time I set my TV up, I did not struggle as hard. I'm shaking because I almost dropped that TV. By the way, oh gosh, I don't know what this little bitty security cable be doing. But we gonna do it. Cause they say to. Good time to have a drill.
I don't know if that's in a set or not, probably not. <sighs> but the TV is mounted. I swear when I set up the TV in my living room at my last place, I did not struggle the way I just struggled there. I did not almost drop it. I did not scrape the wall extra hard and take off paint. <sighs> but that's okay because I got most of the scratches off the wall. It's just that one little spot that's missing some paint. And I'll get some paint and fix that. But um, I got a magic eraser paint. I didn't know magic eraser take the paint off, but it makes sense that it lifts the paint a little bit so you can smear it. I was just scrubbing in that spot a little too hard. I was a little nervous. <laughs> but um, it's almost dropping a TV. You would be, right? But it looks good. Can't wait to get my thing to cover the cord. And um, I don't know, my train of thought is gone after that. After that shenanigan. <laughs> after that shenanigan, I definitely ain't putting another TV today. I think I need to take a breath, a breather even. Take a second, step back. Did you see the panic on my face? I felt the panic on my face. Oh, I felt the panic in my heart. The panic was panicking, okay? The panic was panicking. Other than my little shenanigan, the stubless mount is the way to go. Especially if you don't care to have the one that rotates like in the bedroom, I feel like it's great. In the living room, I would prefer the rotating mount, but this one is perfectly fine, like 20 bucks on Amazon. It can hold, like, each screw holds up to, like, 10 pounds. Last time I OD'd and I used every single hole. This time I just used seven screws, so it holds 70 pounds. My TV's not 70 pounds. It's probably, like, 50 pounds. But, um, yeah. So you still have some screws left over to do it again. But, whoosh, how? God is good because, one, I didn't drop it. Two, it's in there and it's a cur. Three, it's running friendly. You don't got to patch a whole bunch of crazy big holes and studs because of my place in Virginia had like, we couldn't get the wall locks out. We probably shouldn't have used them because it was an apartment, but couldn't get the wall stud lock. The little thing you put in the wall before you screw it in. I couldn't get those out. So it was looking like a mess, but it is what it is. Um, yeah I'm gonna get some paint to fix that I'm gonna figure out what color paint is because it seems like most Texas apartments use this color of gray paint but I'm gonna figure that out but I'm gonna set my TV up take my sheets put them on my bed go heat up my wings eat them take a shower and get in bed because from what I see, I'm gonna have an early day tomorrow at work. So yeah, probably watch some anime tonight and then go to bed. But yeah, one TV's up, just got him off the other TV. And um, again, that's gonna be tomorrow or the day after this project, probably the day after because I just need to like breathe, you know? I've went through a lot. Very traumatic experience almost, um, but God blocked it. He wouldn't let it be so. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm gonna go. <laughs> You've seen enough. Please make sure you like my video, comment down below um, if you're excited to see kind of how everything goes. Still moving in, still getting things settled. Still got some stuff to get. Um, but yeah, super excited. And uh, please follow along with this movie journey. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be all of that. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be be sure to check out any other videos i have linked above hopefully um an empty apartment tour is up there depending on how the footage look it was kind of um it was like short short super short like 10 minutes but hopefully i got that footage um and it's saved correctly and it's not like super wobbly and then i'll post it as well so i'll link it up above if i was able to get it posted um but yeah all right make sure you comment subscribe like this video share it with a friend Thinking about moving to Texas, and I'll see you in the next moving vlog. Bye.